I actually didn't think I'd necessarily wind up excavating here at Kukpak, but it just sort of became more and more obvious that this is such a critically important site and it's eroding. So the project name is uh, Arctic Char, which is short for Arctic Cultural Heritage at Risk. And what it's about is uh, really the impacts of global warming on the archaeological record. So this site is probably the single largest Inuvialuit site period in existence, but so much has eroded that I think a conservative estimate would be that at, at, at one point the site had 30 or 40 houses. So this is kind of the peak of complexity, uh, of economy and social organization and all those sorts of things uh, that Inuvialuit achieved in the pre-contact era. There's a lot of archaeology that is threatened and it, it's likely that the Arctic is more threatened than anywhere else not just because uh, the amount of warming is magnified at high latitudes, um, but also because we have so much material that's been permanently frozen so, you know, in the permafrost. So we have brilliant preservation of these sites because basically when people abandon their sites, uh, the houses would collapse and they'd immediately be incorporated into permafrost and, and everything would be frozen. And the whole purpose of my project is to try to save the most critical archeology span just before it's gone. So the Mackenzie Delta is, uh, and, and the region is the worst hit area for erosion. And there are some areas along this coast that are moving back at literally five or 10 meters a year. I mean, there's many sites that are already completely gone, places that we know there were sites where there's literally nothing, nothing left. But others are slowly eroding, and, and that's what you can see actually up the coast here on this site. Other parts of the site are just falling into the ocean. So it, it's becoming quite urgent. There are important sites that are going to go uh, in the next decades.